taxes could be levied on disposable coffee cups in the fight against environmental pollution Ben Prochny Getty Images Nigel Morris 14 hours Saturday November 18, 2017 Take a while boxes, straws and coffee cups face being taxed in a similar way to plastic bags after the government pledged to take the lead in cleaning up the world's oceans. Next week's budget will announce moves to slash production of single-use plastics such as food packaging, bubble wrap, polystyrene take-a-wall boxes, drinking straws and throwaway cutlery. There is a long way to go, but hope this is the beginning of the end for single-use plastic. Tisha Brown, Ocean's campaigner for Greenpeace UK The moves were welcomed by environmental groups as a first step towards cutting the vast mountain of plastic waste, enough to fill the Royal Albert Hall 1,000 times over thrown away every year in Britain. Chancellor Philip Hammond will tell MPs that the government will ask for proposals for using financial penalties to reduce plastic use dramatically. Ministers will examine the introduction of charges for items such as takeaway coffee cups, mirroring the 5p charge on plastic bags in force across the UK, which they regard as a huge success. Environmental harm The UK-wide move would be aimed at encouraging the public to bring their own cups to coffee shops, as well as raising consciousness of the environmental harm caused by plastic waste. The government will also examine whether to impose taxes, equivalent to the sugar tax on some soft drinks, on the manufacture of plastic goods. White House sources said ministers were determined to act and would produce very ambitious plans to slash plastic use following the consultation. More than 1 meter birds and 100,000 sea mammals and turtles die every year from eating and getting tangled in plastic waste. One in three fish caught in the English Channel contains pieces of plastic and it emerged this week that traces of plastic have been found in the stomachs of creatures in the Marianas Trench, the world's deepest seabed. Cut in plastic bag waste The government said the initiative would build on the plastics bag charge which has led to an 80% fall in their use since 2015, as well as this year's ban on microbeads and in cosmetics and personal care products. It also comes after the launch of a consultation into a bottle deposit scheme to help tackle the plastic pollution crisis. Tisha Brown, Ocean's campaigner for Greenpeace UK, said there is a long way to go, but hope this is the beginning of the end for single-use plastic. Mike Barrett, WWF Director of Science and Policy, said plastic is suffocating our seas. There is no greater example of the havoc we have on the natural world. Any action to tackle single-use plastic is a good thing, but we must ensure any action is truly ambitious if we want to make the real difference needed to help save the planet. Craig Bennett, Friends of the Earth Chief Executive, said things like the plastic bag charge are popular with the public and can make a huge difference to our environment. So moves to introduce something similar for throwaway plastic items would be good news. With our marine life choking on plastic, and our rivers and waterways polluted, the government should also introduce measures to phase out these items entirely. Like every other country, the UK gets through an astonishing volume of throwaway plastic, working its way through 35 million single-use water and soft drinks bottles alone, every day. Much of this gets blown into the sea, contributing to the truckload of plastic that enters the oceans every minute, adding up to 12 million tons over the course of the year. The Treasury is proposing tackling the plastic crisis by taxing single-use items such as bubble wrap, polystyrene take boxes, straws, cutlery and various types of packaging. It has called on NGOs, scientists and other expert parties to provide evidence on whether and how such a scheme might work. The move does not include bottles, the biggest source of throwaway plastic. But that's not an oversight. Last month, Environment Secretary Michael Gove launched a separate call for evidence relating to a bottle deposit scheme. This would charge people extra when they bought a drink and refund it when they returned the plastic bottle. It remains to be seen whether either call for evidence will translate into action and what form any new schemes might take. But both developments have been welcomed by campaigners as a much-needed step in the right direction. In news,